Hey y'all, hey, Erica and Jason with Time to Drink. And if you've been waiting for us to do a mocktail episode, tonight's gonna be a good night. Y'all, we have totally had people asking, numerous people have asked us to do a mocktail episode and truthfully, it's very easy to use the syrups, the simple mm -hmm. syrups that we make, the low carb simple syrups, and make a very simple mocktail or or you could make more complex. My kids, for instance, will take the cherry syrup and pour it into a Coke Zero and drink it like that. You have like a cherry Coke. Or you could do some of the drinks we have tonight. So Jason has a few. We're gonna teach you how to make these mocktails and then also how to add alcohol to them if you wanna serve some mocktails and some people want the alcohol. Yeah, because right? we just couldn't make the episode without the alcohol in it. Right, so, so it's kind of a twofer. All right, here we go, drink number one. Drink number one. All right, so drink number one is uh, Shirley Temple, right? Like the classic, everybody thinks of mocktail. We've got a couple of different ways to make it. We're gonna make it kind of like the modern culture pop popular way, and then we're gonna put a more like adult spin on it too, okay? Okay. This is kind of what you would get these days when you would order in a restaurant. I can definitely remember my grandfather ordering Shirley Temples for us and like bringing yeah, them over me. as a treat, and like surprising us at the table with them and stuff. So uh, that's kind of cool. When I was growing up, the, the drink of dinner at a restaurant was only ever water. <laughs> we couldn't really afford to go out, so we went places that kids eat free and we had to have water. So I never experienced the Shirley Temple thing, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Shirley Temple, very simple ingredients. So this is kind of the new age Shirley Temple, what people, what you would get if you ordered one these days. All right, so this is our, I just made this the other day. This is our low carb grenadine. It's got 0.75 carbs per ounce. Okay. okay. Very good in the cocktail book. Yep, this An is one of the recipes in our cocktail book. That must makes have. It makes it worth getting. This one's a little more complicated. There are a few more ingredients to it. But it's still easy. It's you all can make linked. It. Oh yeah, I made it. All linked in the book, if, but. If Jason can follow my instructions and yep. make it, it's pretty easy. So you're gonna go an ounce of grenadine syrup. Which has a lot of pomegranate, if you didn't know. Yep. And very pomegranate based. Then you're just going to use like a lemon lime, a diet lemon lime soda, a uh, seven up or a, where are you using right zero. Right zero. Okay. okay. And so you want to do about four ounces of this. So kind of what I got in my rocks glass here. Which garnish goes with this one? And it's just, you know, very simple. Now this is, this is a maraschino cherry, right? And they mm. are a, like two carbs per cherry, but that's a like kind of a classic Shirley Temple. Right. right. So, so you don't have to eat the cherry. You don't have to eat the cherry, but I thought we would put it in there and do it. Give it a little stir with the stick. Get a little bit of that syrup. And this is just, this is what you would get in a restaurant these days or a bar if you ordered a Shirley Temple. Except for it would have lots of carbs because this is the Right, because yeah. They, they'd be, this right. is your version <laughs> to make a low carb. Right, right, right. Good. See if it tastes like what I remember. The it's Sprite sweet. Zero is sweet. It's and super and sweet. Renadine. It's very right. sweet. Very sweet drink. Shirley Temple. There you go. I feel like you Lots could put fun. some bitters in there and help it out. You could if you wanted to. Make it a little less sweet. You could, but it's supposed to be sweet. Oh, okay. okay. It's supposed to be sweet. So that's one way to make the Shirley Temple. We're gonna make uh, kind of a more of a like an adult yeah. version. And if you wanted to make fun drinks for your kids, then you could totally make this for a special occasion for like a birthday drink or yep. like a holiday, and they would be so right. You got excited. the cherry sticking out of it, and, and then you could add some whatever vodka you want. or whatever yeah. to it for yourself. Yeah, this I would go probably vodka with. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Thinking. I'm going to give you a choice on the next drink. Okay. Me, so this is still drink one. This is a little bit of a different way to make a Shirley Temple. More in kind of the um, original um, version of it. Okay? Uh, this is not the original version? That's actually not the original oh. version of it. Okay. That's kind okay. of the popular, popularized modern culture version. Okay. Of it, okay. All right. The original version is a little bit more complex, has a little bit more um, cocktail-y type of feel to it with okay. the acids, the syrups, okay. and everything. You'll see. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right. So to make this more, we'll call it a grown up Shirley Temple. I'm still gonna just build it in the glass. So let me put, all right, so I'm gonna do one regular and one alcohol, right? So a little more grown up Shirley Temple. You're still going with the grenadine. Do about okay. an ounce. Oh, that's why it's so sweet, an ounce of yeah, grenadine. Yeah, it's a sweet Good. drink. It's a sweet Can you drink. imagine how, so that alone, if it's not low carb, is probably like 20 something carbs oh, yeah. per Thank ounce. You. Easily, 25, 30. All right, we're gonna go with an ounce of lime juice. All right. 
And again, this is the more traditional kind of helps version. Cut that sweetness a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. I'm gonna like this one better. I can already Absolutely. tell. Absolutely. I can already tell, y'all. Now you could, if you wanted to, on this would be kind of really cool. Is you could take like um, an orange, like like a slice of orange and muddle it before you put oh, the. Oh, that would be nice. And it would be kind of a cool touch, but we're going more of the that classic nice. traditional way with this okay. one. Now, what's going to make this a little bit better is instead of going with the super sweet Sprite Zero, we're going to go with our favorite. Oh, ginger beer, ginger beer. Gosling's ginger beer. The ginger beer itself is completely non-alcoholic, y'all. If you didn't know that, it's it's a non-alcoholic. Ginger beer. I mean, ginger beer is usually non-alcoholic, but I think some people don't know that sometimes. I don't know if I knew that at first because you often get it at the liquor store. You know, right, so right, right. like I you get them at the grocery stores too. Yeah, you can, but I originally saw them at the liquor stores, so I kind of assumed that they had alcohol in them, but they don't. So All right, so there up. is the mocktail version. I want you to stir that up. I've got that orange and cherry garnish for mm -hmm. it there. And I want you to taste this because I'm going to give you your it's your choice of right, alcohol. So here. we've got our orange and cherry. Yeah. And what do you think of that? That's good. You like That's that? That's delicious. It's a little more adult, isn't it? You don't it? need, yeah. But it tastes, it tastes more adult. You're right. But there's yeah. zero alcohol. Zero alcohol. Now, the reason I want you to taste that, because like I said, good. with the kind of the popular Shirley Temple, I would definitely do vodka. But you could do vodka, but I also think, do you think you could get away with rum in this because of the yeah, ginger beer? Yeah, I think you could. I really do. Yeah. So which one do you want to do? Rum or vodka? Yeah. I'm always going to pick rum. All right. We're going to do rum then. I'm not really a vodka girl. I mean, in some things, it'll probably, I mean, it would probably taste fine in this. Probably wouldn't really taste sure, yeah, it. Oh, you probably wouldn't really taste the vodka, right? So look, you're making these. Sorry, I wasn't supposed uh, to start that You can yet. make it, you know, big batch of them. However, just do the math, and then you're just topping it off with some rum or vodka. Again, it's kind of fun. You having like a party. You got little kids over. You got families over, and then people can add the alcohol they prefer to drink to it. See how I changed the the sticks there, so you know which one has alcohol oh, in it, which that. one doesn't. That's good. I like it. Yeah, it's a good drink. That's a very good drink. It's They're good. both good. Let's do drink number two. Alright, so drink number two is another kind of classic mocktail. This one is so good, y'all. Yeah, and if you're not Italian or have never been to Italy, you probably don't know about these, but they're so simple and so, so delicious. Good. As we're taping today, it's actually Easter evening, and Jason made these for us to have with our Easter dinner, and everybody just loved them. My parents, my kids, our friends. Loved it. Yep, so we're just making a classic Italian soda, again, using our simple syrups, and that's what we're going to get the low-carb flavoring for. Right, and like like we said in the, with the grenadine, really the main reason to buy the low-carb cocktail book yep. is for those syrup recipes, and like the amaretto and the triple sec, but even if you don't drink alcohol at all, the syrups you can use in yeah, so many absolutely. ways in mocktails and dressing up drinks. My kids love having the syrups in the refrigerator, y'all. All right, so to make the Italian sodas, well, I got ice out of the refrigerator. I don't like the big ice cubes. It doesn't have to be crushed, but kind of like smashed. I don't know. You know, I don't yeah. want, I just don't want like the big ice cubes. So you still can have chunks of okay. ice. Or if you have one of those ice Oops. machines that makes like Sonic ice, you know, that yeah. would work in that. But we just have the regular ice, and so I just put it in my Lewis bag, pound it up a little bit. That song. But again, we're just building these in the glass. These are Italian sodas. You can use whatever syrup you want for these. I yeah. mean, you can use the syrup. You can yeah. use like the caramel syrup that you yeah. put your coffee you with could. if you wanted or to. Or you could use strawberry um, or raspberry yeah. or cherry. We're using cherry because. Our cherry syrup is one of our favorites, like all of us, even me. And I thought I didn't like cherry straw, but I like this cherry syrup in a lot of drinks, including this one. All right, so an ounce of our cherry syrup, in an ounce, you can go with any of these, you can go an ounce to two ounces, depending on the syrup. Our cherry syrup is pretty strong right. stuff. It's pretty concentrated, just the way we make it. So I'm only doing an ounce. I think of that is cherry syrup, I think that is plenty. But some other syrups you may use more if they're not quite as concentrated. Cherry syrup, ounce cherry syrup in there, and I really think you need to use like an Italian sparkling mineral water here. I don't know. This is San Pellegrino. We love San Pellegrino. Just makes it more fun, more authentic, I guess. This and is just the kind of, we tend to have at our house too. Yeah, just kind of fill up your glass here. And we're making Yay. two because we're doing alcohol and. We're gonna do a mocktail and then show you how to add some alcohol to it. 
Don't stir? No, don't stir yet. Can I just put these in? Or you can no? put these in, yeah. Okay. Now, you can serve them like that. This Caroline actually likes hers this way or prefers hers this way. Yeah. These are really supposed to be like cream sodas. Right. So if you take half an ounce of cream and then you just kind of put it in there like that, now, now you can stir it. Yeah, I love the flavor of it with the heavy cream, but heavy cream is not my friend these days. So I've been drinking them without personally, but it tastes delicious with the heavy cream. It's so good. You just kind of stir it up. Such a good drink, y'all. And that is your Italian cream soda. It's so good. So now we're going to, we've made our mocktail. We're going to, I don't dress know. It up. Dress it up. And of course, Italian soda. We're going to go with an Italian liqueur called Amaretto. Amaretto is super high carb if you're buying it from the liquor store. Right. So you've got to kind of make your own homemade Amaretto. We have a video. It's linked above. I learned that last week. It's above, yes, not below. We'll link it. It's ready to drink. It's, it takes no time to sit or mature or anything like that. You make it and you're ready to drink. Okay. Right. So let me grab our Amaretto. I would say we, we, we messed with this. You can do what you want. I wouldn't do two ounces of amaretto it's because much. it's so sweet. It's sweet. And it's very almondy, so you only you don't need more than an ounce, ounce and a half. Yeah, if you're not gonna go with the cream, I would probably just stay to an ounce. If you want the cream in it, I would probably do an ounce and a half. Again, it's I'll all put the cream in there. Oh, you don't want the cream in there? Can this I one? taste it without it? Yeah, yeah. With it? I've yeah, never tasted it without. Leave it without the cream. Let's leave one without so I can drink it. Alright, there you go. Because I can't drink it with the cream <laughs> very well. There you go. So there's the Yum. alcohol version of So good. Cream. Yes. Give me a little more ice so to get all right. ice down. This is so good, y'all. Alright, here comes drink mm. number three. Mint basil limeade. That sounds good. Okay, a mint basil good. limeade. So we're going to need, this is going to be, I haven't. So like since, a mojito? Yeah, kind of like a mojito. Kind of. Yeah, kind of like a mojito. Yeah. So here's how we're going to make this. We're going to use both halves of our Boston shaker and then we'll just use a pint glass to shake it with. All right. Pretty classic. So I need four basil leaves and four mint leaves in both container both of them. Yep. and then we're going to go as we're putting the mint in the basil in we're going with an ounce of lime, lime juice. juice so we've got four basil leaves four mint leaves and an ounce of lime juice and we're going to just kind of muddle this all up now you're thinking rum for this right that's what i was thinking okay we need the rum for you i think rum's the right thing for this okay. too but you were saying you could use very differing. I think you could alcohols. use bourbon here. I think you could easily use vodka here. Right, um, whatever is your favorite, yeah. probably in this. If you're going to do the alcoholic version, he's just making them both at one time with this drink. And then you're going to put in an ounce of this is our mint simple syrup. Okay. Okay. Again, out of the cocktail book, going with an ounce of mint simple syrup. Okay. All right. So then you're just going to put ice in, shake them up double strain and you've got your mocktails we've already got the rum in this one okay no rum in this one okay. all right all right so we are going to double strain this i've got kind of a makeshift double strainer here we do have better options there you go and then you just top it with soda water if you want to do mint i've got some lime wheels for you there you could even garnish it with very pretty all give right. that a try basil lime or lime no Mint basil limeade. Mint basil limeade. That's very refreshing. That is the mocktail. Now we're going to shake very up good. the one with the rum. You can really taste the basil. This is a great summer spring drink. Very light and refreshing. All right. So this is the basil mint limeade with the rum. Oh, you really taste that basil. It's almost, it, it's very reminiscent of a mojito, but with the basil. Yeah. And so that's Especially why I think with the, the basil, that's why you could easily go bourbon here and it would you give could. it a whole you different could. flavor, but it would still fit with everything that's but in it's, there. But it's a great summer spring drink. All of these are really. Yeah. Yeah. All of them. So there we have it, y'all. We've got our mocktails and our mocktails plus. Yeah, there you go. Mocktails plus. There you go. I like it. All great. I like every single one of them except for the this first Shirley. It's super sweet. It's way sweet for yeah. me. 
Yep. But the rest of them are delightful. So good. Yeah. Good job, babe. Yeah, lots of fun this episode. I'm glad we did it. Me too. I hope y'all liked this. I hope you got some ideas of mocktails to try. And if you're having a group over, a way to add alcohol to them as well so people can have alcohol or no alcohol and still enjoy a really special drink. Right. And a lot of them are versatile. You can do different alcohols with. So it's a lot right. of fun if you're having people over. You make big batches or whatever. Yeah. All right. What do you want here? I'm... Uh... I don't know. I, one of these two. All right, I figured that, so I'm going with this one. You go with that one. Whoa, man of war. I'm gonna do this one for All right. for cheers. All right. All right. Bye, y'all. Cheers. cheers. We'll see you again next week, every Friday night at 8 p.m.